to the last session. And just before I begin this final session, I'd like to introduce you to Philip. This uh, very good looking Polish hipster. Uh, 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 I'm getting to know him, Terry knows him a bit better. He's actually coming with me to Sierra Leone a week on Sunday. Sunday, yes. Week on Sunday. Um, he's, he's from, from what I know of Philip already, he's a very sincere believer in the Lord. And in a very high profile position in media in Poland. In the Mazelo Visoko position. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'd like to introduce myself, so maybe I'll start from the very beginning. Uh, I used to be a very selfish, proud guy. So I think this would be the best uh, description of myself. <laughs> I prepare a small card because Peter just asked me a couple of minutes ago, maybe a couple of hours ago, well, would you like to share something? I said, sure. Why not? I'll definitely know what to say when I'll stand here. So. <laughs> So first of all, I'd like to tell you uh, more maybe about the situation when I met Terry and Paul because I don't have much time, so I'll go straight to the beginning. Uh, I'm working in a media business, as was mentioned by Paul. Within the biggest independent TV producer group, which is called AT Grupa. And I come from the Christian background where I knew who God was and is. But I didn't have a real relationship with God. And so when I was working within the group, everything was going fine. And I thought as my pastor was teaching me as well, you know, we had money, just to you know, bring the money into the church and then this is this is our role to play. But I never seen it as a as a place of ministry before. Uh, so when I was really converted, when I got to know God, I, I, started, I started to pray that I need some people that would help me to lay the right foundation in terms of being in a place of ministry, which is actually a place of work. And thanks to my friend, I went to the conference when I met Paul first time. In San Felicio Pariato, when I met Paul on the conference, okay, it's the first time I met Paul. And then I met Terry on the other conference. I was praying to uh, get a mentor who would be able to mentor me. I put him some on Terry as we chose on the other conference. I made some some mentor like be my co. And when he was walking by, my friend came to me and say, "Hey, this is Terry. Terry, this is Philip." In my prior presentation, and basically I told Terry from the very beginning, this is you are the reason why I'm here. Tako na začetku sam povedal Terry, da ti si razlog za kaj sam prišel sam. So Paul, when you said that one of the employees said that actually the company saved her life, I can say as well that your company saved my life too. Paul je govoril o jim sodelov, ki je rekla, da je ta firma rešila življenje in jaz isto lahko rečem. Because at that time there was the hardest, the darkest time of my life, which Terry knows about and he was giving me a hand at that time and he still is. Ker v tistem času sem šel čez najtemnejši del svojega življenja in Terry mi je tam ponudil roko. How I do believe as well, like a history of Lazarus, that we need each other in order to Take the grave clothes off. We cannot do it by ourselves. 
govorim je tudi o Lazarju, kač zvedi, kaj da ne moramo sami sleči teh oblačil narviča. I was very successful in business, this is what my business partner and owner of the group said. Bil sem uspešen poslovnež. Then I turned to God. Potem sem se obrnil v Bogu. And then million of deaths. Million of deaths. In potem milijon dolga. Yes. Kako, no one. I do believe that you will never know that God is all you need unless God will become all you have. Prepričan sem, da nekaj ne boš vedel, da je Bog vse, kar imaš, dokler Bog ne ostane vse, kar imaš. You know, before that, when there was a success, I was coming back to the 12 office on my board or advisory board meetings and hey, here I am. Prej, kakaj sem bil uspešen, sem prihajal na srečanje vodstva kot, evo, tukaj sem. But now I know that I have a gift. I have a talent to make business, but this is offering that I need to bring. This is a place, a work, my, my workplace is a place where I should worship God and where I should bring through that gifts offering to God Zdaj, in whatever I do. Zdaj pa vem, da ta uh, moj dar je nekaj, s čimar uh, na svojem delovnem mestu čestim Boga, pa ne sem darito Bogu. I do believe as well that all those hard times the really darkest time, times were to shape my character, not to kill me, but to give me life. Light in fullness, light in full, because I do believe that business is not about making money. It's, it's about having the influence, the right influence on the people that we can co-work with. Unfortunately or not, the money will come after. <laughs> I do believe what Terry taught me that the king, kingdom of heaven is as close to people as we are. And I can give you many, many testimonies. Like one of my Indian friends, he is very strong, successful businessman in the field of automotive. Uh, automotive. Indian friend. Yes, Indian friend who is very successful businessman in automotive. He is in his forties, late forties. He is in his forties, late forties. And actually, they were always respecting that I do believe in God, but he and his brother were always telling me, Philip, there is God, but you know, we can do our thing, and there is God, God is God, you know, you can live your life. I was once talking to him, I said, Philip, we respect the God of God, but God, God, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know. But thanks to God, when God started to change me, once we went to, for the holidays, uh, this last holidays together. In Kosmo, uh, uh, na he texted me uh, two o'clock at night, where I could come down. Uh, he texted me, he sent me a text And he starts to cry like a baby. And it was in front of the beautiful sea where we are, Polish seaside actually. I love Polish seaside. Świnoujście. Yes, it was in Poland. And he started to cry and said, look, I think my life is in pieces. I'm just as successful in business and that's it. And I think that my life is destroyed. I'm still a successful business. And I see peace in your life, peace in your heart. And I want to have it. Please show me the way. I could tell you some more things that, you know, before my business wasn't laid in on the right foundations. Then I went to my, uh, one of the biggest clients, which was a very big bank, and said, look, I cannot operate that way anymore. And 
Not because I don't like money, I like the millions flowing into our company. But I like money, but I love God. And he looked like me, and he looked at me like a stranger. I thought that he would say, go out. So I just asked him, look, if you want me to go out right now, I can stand up and go out. In some misled echo pet one uh some echo sent a prowling it to bush to coach the green one. But instead he said, No no no, look, I need to settle my life as well. I need to I need changes in my life too. But he reco ne ne yes to travel spending the swan juvenile. And I understand that we cannot operate anymore like that. Then I thought it was our major clients. I said, look God, right now we lost a lot of millions. In kada bi najveća stranka, sam si mislil bo, kaj je prav, kar si bomo zgubili velik milijonov. And pure to that, pure to that came an email from a client that we didn't know at all. Ampak pred s tem je prišla, prišel email od stranke, ki nas še ni poznala, če nismo poznali. Three days ago we finalized this project for the client, which we didn't know before. In potem smo delali ta projekt za to stranko, ki prej nismo poznali. We made very big revenue on that. Yes, and the owners came from states to see the program. I didn't know that they are running a, a company that capitalization is on the level of fifteen billion dollars. And they said that look, we would like to invest way more. Actually, spend more. So this is incredible journey with God, which I would like to commit my life to. And, and I know this is my calling because you know before before I used to live a life making even business, being successful. I had a hole in my heart saying. This is not the place that it should be. I should be doing business, but operating in a different way, in a godly way. Where the Holy Spirit leads you, not your thoughts, not, not money. Where you are driven by the Holy Spirit, when He will tell you, He's telling you which business to go into. What to do? And what not to do? Sometimes the contract that you can see for lots of millions, it shouldn't be the one that you should be signing. I would love to share more stories and testimonies with you, but I, I know that right now Peter is looking at me like. It's my time to go. <laughs> so, I would like really to thank God for meeting those wonderful people. Terry and Paul. I'd like to tell you something which might be a little bit fun, but not to me at all. I used to work for, uh, as well, with uh, Richard Paul. He's in the media business as well. Richard Paul. Yes. And I was spending time with him flying on his private jets, yachts and everything, and I thought, this is the business. But I need to tell you, I haven't seen most more lonely people than I saw on those yachts and planes. I haven't seen uh, lonely people. The problem was and is that all they have is money. And I lost it all, and I thought I lost it all, but God shifted it. I didn't lost it. I gained it. And I started to pray, God, you know, the richest Paul. I thought this is the direction that 
I should be in business, you know, what is wrong? Everything is gone right now. In some old book, Kai says Godil, we saw some day to Smerita of Apostle, Kai says Godil, says Google say. And I felt in the spirit that I heard this voice reach us Paul. And pak se mi je zdela samo duho slišal najbogatejši pa Paul. In English, reach us Paul. V angliščini to pomeni You can translate it as a richest Paul. Yes, so this is how I met Paul. Thank you.